Okay. Maybe. Works? Yeah. Good. Welcome to What the Cell? Unexpected things happening under the grid. So this is basically about, about some things I encountered during developing uh, spreadsheet calc. Um, yeah, just so short overview about me, about accessibility, is it a friend, is it a foe? And uh, some code doesn't know wh where to put things and with some performance examples. Uh, I'm Agi Radke, known on the net at, as EREC, for example, on IRC, simple things, and most email addresses, working on Star Office, OpenOffice.org, <coughs> LibreOffice, for several companies, and since a long time, um, I'm around here. So, accessibility, or A11Y, okay. as it's shortened, can be your friend, or most time is your friend, because it provides information to the screen readers tells which object is active, is selected, whatever, and reads the text content of selected objects. So for example, but from edit fields, list book entries, cells, and the contents, and it also listens to object changes, which is good, or maybe is it, or maybe not, because this accessibility can also be your foe, especially if you're a coder, uh, because it listens to object changes, uh, which can slow things quite significantly down. Um, because on modern systems, accessibility, uh, at least the framework, is enabled if, even if you don't have any screen reader in use. And uh, it can get in the way at the most inconvenient uh, occasions. And, well, if it does, it's sometimes very hard to debug. So, for example, we have an edit engine. We have a cell with a text, uh, one line with text in this case, and we start to edit the text and type some text there. And so there's one line, funny stuff. It doesn't show the highlighted things. Okay, it's a piece of text with an insert paragraph with a paragraph oh. uh, mark at the end. Uh, we just type in. So at, as soon as you reach the paragraph end and press enter, uh, Accessibility is notified, hey, we have a new paragraph here. So it can actually read the new content and, and tell the screen readers the next piece of text is moved to the next line. And uh, that with text is now on the next line. So when doing something similar, when pasting text into a cell, starting with the same cell content, and uh, paste the uh, piece of text and pasted paragraph and more, which we previously copied from, from another cell, including this paragraph break. So the same, as the paragraph end is inserted, accessibility gets notified. Well, we are in the middle of a paste and accessibility gets notified and wakes up and th thinks, well, let's ask the edit engine for the new distribution of the text. So, but the text is not reformatted yet, so the edit engine doesn't know how it, it, it is distributed, actually. So, th but it knows there is text following, because we just pasted at some position some, some piece of text and it was not at the end of the cell. So, the edit engine then, due to the internal algorithm, um, just tries to distribute, redistribute the text, but somehow cannot decide when to do it actually. So it actually allocates memory for the next line to, to put the piece of text at, and, but doesn't quite move the text there. So uh, it is in some stage where it can't decide between its X cursor positions that it remembers and, 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 and the text that follows. And uh, well, it adds this line but doesn't distribute the text. Instead, goes to step zero. And where well, the text is not reformatted yet, and asks itself <laughs> again, let's reformat this thing. I don't know where it starts. Let's, there is some text following, I know that. So 
I just append a line. So this goes on infinitely until either your memory is off, you crash if you're lucky, and you're using Windows system or you have a limited uh, Linux environment, or you go on until your swap space is finished and your system grinded to halt even before that. You can't do anything anymore, which made debugging this not very funny because you have to interrupt it early before that happens and then try to figure out why this happens. And actually debugging the case took me about one and a half days or something. The actual fix was very simple. Uh, we suppress only during the paste the notifications. So uh, accessibility is not notified during the paste, but just right after the paste happened. So in that state, again, the edit engine is in a good state again, and it can operate just as usual. So, uh, but that was just a long, a two lines fix actually, actually. So just suppress notification and after the paste turn it on again and just notify accessibility after. Um, the other part was rewriting the part of the algorithm of the edit engine so that if for any other occasion it comes to this, um, <coughs> it does not end up in the same situation. So, so allocating memory endlessly for this situation hopefully is not possible anymore. If you're interested, what, what was changed, uh, the commit ID is given. Um, coming to performance, uh, I was a bit involved the uh, last half year with the performance of Calc because due to some bugs encountered and uh, also some other things. So one example here is the loading cell formula, uh, formulas from, from an ODI file format where we have to parse all the formulas and significant time was spent uh, in the uh, determination whether, whether a specific piece of string is a value which comes after whether it's a function name or reference or whatever. And at one point, if it's not, not one of these, we have to determine if it's a value or not. And that always called the number parser, uh, which is usually done also in, in the user interface because the, u the user can type in other things. And, and uh, we have to, for example, uh, uh, process the, the lo localized separators like decimal separators or date formats, whatever. But in an ODA file format, it has to be a good um, good English US string like, like specified in the format. So we don't need all this overhead. And uh, we could use the RTL math string to double, which we have implemented in the base layers. And this brought down actually the the numbers from instruction read to from what was it here nine millions eight hundred nine fifty nine thousand something which is which was spent on the SC compiler is value and and the other two uh, calls uh, brought down to, to two hundred ninety eight thousand which is a speed up of factor thirty two uh, thirty three so quite some gain there um, which this was a test case actually of just uh, <coughs> thou thousand numbers in, um, in, in formulas alternating on, on every second row. So we don't end up with uh, any shared formula or something. So we have to actually parse everything. Um, the next one was uh, in the scenario, I think it was inserting rows something, quite, quite complex co document. Um, where it identified that uh, a dynamic cast of, of uh, a notification, formula cell notification, um, where the cell actually was already notified before, so actually did not have to do anything. But to determine that it doesn't have to do anything, it had to dynamic cast the hint that was passed in. Because the, 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 the simple hint we, we use is just a simple hint without any data, and, and any other hint we use has some data on it, is derived from that simple hint. So it, it always had to <laughs> dynamic cast uh, the hint before, 
it could determine whether it has to do anything or not. And uh, with this one commit I mentioned here, I elim eliminated all these SFX simple hints throughout the entire suite and uh, moved all to SFX hint instead, uh, which was previously derived from the SFX simple hint and uh, made 150 dynamic cast superfluous. In this scenario where we inserted these uh, rows into the document, I think 20% uh, of time was, was spent in just in this notification call doing nothing because of the dynamic cast. Because it was millions of calls because of all the cells involved. Um, then Third step I did was uh, at the part that tracks the formulas, which which means if something changed in a document, like, like like a data or some other formula, producing results on which other formulas depend, um, that these track formulas was called too often when 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 uh, modifying a document, for example, inserting rows, columns, whatever. Um, Due to individual steps of the modification of the doc documents, broadcasted changes to these formulas, and, and, and these, on each change, uh, the, the formulas were tracked which depend on which, and uh, just, just to get notified. And this was done multiple times, <laughs> so instead uh, of doing that, we just kept track of uh, collecting and the pen pending formulas and process the, the actually track only once at the end. And in this case, uh, the instructions read uh, was uh, sped up by factor six and the, the wall clock speed up by, by factor two. Again, that th this is in complex documents. There's nothing you will see in, 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 in smaller documents or something, uh, but in large documents. And very short example, only little innocent piece of code is uh, called in, in, in Atray has attrib, and this has attrib is called for various scenarios just to find out if, if a block of rows within one column has a spe specific attribute, for example. And uh, during the profiling, uh, it turned out that uh, of what is this, uh, 36 million times this, this was called, uh, only 9,200 times row one and row two actually differed. So normally this piece of code is called for one cell, not for a block, which means we can just spare one search. So we had two searches before for each row one, row two, and now we do the second only for uh, for the case that the two rows actually differs for in, in, in the query, <coughs> uh, which can save quite some time if you have lots of attribute in, in one column. Uh, I've known numbers for that, what it actually saved. I just spotted that at the time there. So, yeah, I speed it a little bit up here, and I'm already at the end. Any questions? Yes. Where, where did you get the last number from? The last number, uh, the, the the big number. Yeah. It was from profiling. <laughs> oh, okay. It just occurred to me that when when I browsed the, the, these profile results, that we called this function that many times, <coughs> and then then you get this annotation which line of the code is called how many times and so on, and I spotted that. The search function was actually called for every time, but actually the other pieces that belong to the same code uh, weren't. So <coughs> one of them was superfluous. Yes? Oh, thank you. <laughs>